Hey guys, what's going on? It's been a while since I've posted and I said that I would update you on this jar right there and that will be in a short so that will be coming probably right after this video but um, I found two scorpions and a walking stick bug at my job and I decided to pin those for you. I already have one pinned just so I can show you, but I think we should just get this video started and let me explaining how to pin them. So yeah. Okay, so we're getting started now. And so the first one that I decided to pin was the scorpion. Mainly just because it was there. There wasn't nothing too special about me choosing it. So I automatically go with the size 3 to go and keep it in place after I take out the support pins. Oh, and sorry if it gets blurry sometimes in the video. I had to readjust the board every now and then. So here I am moving the pinchers, as I like to call them, the claws. But then I realized that I didn't put in the supports. So we're going with um, a zero millimeter pins just to like stop it from jiggling around while I'm pinning it. So then after that was done, I was finally able to move those pincers in the position that I wanted them, which isn't very hard. It's just getting to move them because they're so small, because this thing was barely bigger than a quarter so it was hard to do so then I went in with the zero millimeters and I pinned in the pinchers not pinning in but I supported them to keep them into their place with with that with those <laughs> and I do the same on the other side um, sometimes I don't really see the big need to put them in, in like all the legs and stuff. Because if the legs, they stay in the position that you want them to stay in while you're pinning it and while it's drying, you don't really need to do much with it then. But see that leg I was having so much trouble with. And so I just went ahead and did these legs first, the other legs on the side, which those legs were, like, perfectly fine. I was able to get them all completely out how I wanted them. It was just that one, which <laughs> wouldn't bend. So then I got that support um, pin, and at first I stuck it in one spot, which I will come to see that that won't really work and so yeah now then after this I grabbed the pin and I put it right next to the joint so I could actually bend the leg as you can see pretty much and so I started pinning it and um, getting it into the place that I wanted it. And that was pretty much it for the entire bug or arachnid. It, this side was really easy. I just kind of pulled out the legs to where I could see them better. And then that was really it for this scorpion. I left out the tail almost in a straighter way. So that the other scorpion I had it curled. The other one I wanted it straight so I could have more examples. 
so let's get started with this um, stick bug. I don't know the species yet. I haven't done enough research on it, but it's work in progress. So automatically, we're going to start with the 0.3 millimeter and we're going to put it in, in, in the, between the head and the abdomen, lower abdomen. So it's going to go right, right where I pinned it in this video. And so it just goes right in, nothing too much. I kind of moved around the antennas just to get them out of the way because I accidentally hit it. So then I started moving that one, right? Curling it like how the other one was. That was pretty much the first step. But... So then I got the point zero. Sorry if I said but. I thought that it, I was going to forget something because that's how I remember it. But it's fine. So anyways, I stuck in the needle for support there. And afterwards, I did have to add in another support on the lower abdomen. Two of them. Because the body kept on bending whenever I put it up on the big board on the e at the end. So I had to eventually add in two pins at the bottom for support, which I didn't put in. So right now I'm just moving the legs, the hind legs, the middle legs. And then I started getting the front legs. Which... I think I spent the longest time on the leg that I'm working on now. Just because I wanted it to be like almost exactly perfect. But I couldn't entirely get it how I wanted it. So eventually it just worked for me. And I was just like, okay, it'll do. Like I'm not going to worry about it too much seeing as... It, seeing as I have another one, but I wanted to use this one more as a different type of specimen, one that looked more accurate to the real bug, how it would be. And so, it was really, really easy to just whoop this one out, get it finished, and... So yeah, this one was just super easy, and that's all I got. Okay, now that we have these pinned, we will put them in their encasement. That was louder than I thought. But now, here are the three specimens that will go inside of this giant glass box. Um, and also, thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it this far, thank you. And, um, subscribe and hope to see you in another one of my whack videos. So, thank you.